Okay, so um, I don't normally make videos for uh, GCSE students. I normally target my videos at A-level students, but I thought uh, since my little brother is doing his GCSEs now, um, I thought I'd make some more GCSE videos as well. This video is just basically how to get G how to get an A star in your GCSEs, um, and I got three A stars, six A's, and a B in my GCSEs. Um, this is what I sort of learned after I'd done my GCSE, so when I moved on to A-levels, and I'd wish I'd done this before, because I know I would have done much better than I got. Um, but still, you know, I'm done, I'm fine, I'm, I'm happy with the results that I got. So to start off with, number one, you need to cut out your distractions. I remember when I was doing my GCSEs, I just made an Instagram account recently, I'd made a Twitter account recently, and I thought life was all about getting, you know, likes on Instagram and followers on Twitter. And it's not like there's more to life than you know Instagram and Twitter. So what I'd done was just deleted uh, Instagram, Twitter completely. It was I thought it was just a waste of time. I was spending way too much time on it, and I started focusing more on my studies and revision and stuff. So number one, you need to cut out your distractions. Now by that, it's not just your social media. If you've got a job, I remember I was working uh, on the weekends, so I I, told, I had to tell my boss, you know, like I want a break from work. Um, after I told him that he fired me, so, but, forget him. So yeah, just tell them, look, I need a break from work, blah, blah. Because your GCSEs are more important. The second tip is get the specifications. Now, you probably don't know what the specification is yet. That's because it's more important in A-levels, but it's very important in GCSEs as well. Don't get me wrong. Now, the specification is basically what the exam board releases before. Um, and it's basically got everything. It's just a list of basically everything that they can test you on. So, and it's very straight to the point, uh, bit by bit. And it just says everything that the exam board can test you on. They release it themselves. So obviously it makes sense to use a specification when you're revising, because then you know what you need to revise and what you shouldn't revise. Um, so get all the specifications. I've never done it, but I wish I did now. Um, get all the specifications and use that when you're making your notes. Number three, use CGP revision guides. Now the reason I tell you this is because the specification, like I said, um, has everything that you need to know. And I swear the CGP revision guides copy every like are, are in order of the specification. Like they only use the specification when they're making the books. Um, I noticed every point in the specification was written in the CGP revision guide. Um, and you know elaborated on in the CGP revision guides and it's straight to the point the revision guides don't talk you know on and on about how penicillin was invented who invented it how many kids he had and how many do you know what I mean you it just tells you what you need to know for the exam and that's it so get the CGP revision guides and only use them for your revision number four is make notes now when I was in my GCS when I was doing my GCSEs I was very ignorant and people were telling me to make notes and I didn't really pay attention to them. I was just like, you know what, I revise better by reading, blah, blah, blah. And I just thought, oh yeah, I'll get sick results just by reading a book. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a photographic memory, so it didn't work that well. But, you know, if I, 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 wish, I, I, I wish I had made notes because making notes is like, it helps the stuff stick in your brain a lot more. Um, I don't know how, but it, it helps so much in A-levels, so it definitely will help in GCSEs as well. Number five, do a lot of past papers. Now, you'll see when you do the past papers that the questions are just repeated again and again and again, like every year, they're just the same questions. So that's why I say do all the past papers, or at least try and do as many past papers as you can. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, do one or two. Do at least three per subject, and that's it. You've got, you've got a good base. And the final tip, Number six is be confident. Now, the exams, just all exams in general, have got a lot to do with confidence. If you're not confident, your brain doesn't work as well and as efficiently in an exam situation. That's why you need to be confident before walking into an exam. Just keep making sure you're confident. Um, tell yourself, keep telling yourself things like, you know what, I've revised well, I've done the past papers, so I'm gonna get good marks. Tell yourself, be positive, be like that, and that's going to make you more confident. Don't be like, oh, I haven't revised this, I haven't revised that. 
that's just going to make you feel down and depressed so you're not going to feel as confident um, but that's everything for GCSEs um, and that's how, how I reckon you can get an A star in GCSEs if it was helpful then just give us a thumbs up um, but thanks for watching if you need any other help or tips and advice just check my channel out but bye for now